In this video, we'll see how to generate a review report. Whatever reviews you have initiated, you can create a report of that. So in the previous version, you can create a report from the dashboard itself. So right now I'm in the HSBC bank project dashboard. And if I go to this widget, that is the uh, review widget. If I want to create a report, you see there's a third option or you can say fourth option. If I click on this fourth option, I'll get this dialog box as create a report. And there are a few steps which I have to find out. You know, I have to complete that. So it says, what are the available reports? I have this review, click on next. It says, what review do you want? Number of reviews included in the report. Do you want one review? If there are multiple reviews, you can create multiple review, one report. So I'll click on this review three release one, that's a review, click on next. Now it says, what is the name of the review you want? What is the name of the report? I'll say as review report one. Review, review report one and I can select what type of format I want. Do I want a PDF, a word format, a HTML, XLS, any format I want. So I'll select as PDF format and what type of formatting do you want? Customized report, sophisticated or performance. I'll select the same thing. I'll not change it. Now I'll type the name of the author, name of the author, Pavan Lalwani, a name of the company, Tutorials Point Private Limited. What is the footer text you want? I'll say as Hyderabad, India. That's the text which I want. Okay. And what are the comments I want? Include comments. And do you want to put a company logo? Do you can just click on this browse and you can just upload an image if you want to put it. So just click on this place. Choose a file. From the desktop, I'll pick up this image as a logo and click on OK. Okay and click on OK. So I've imported one image that's browse. I've done it and then I can click on next. So you know how to browse it. Finally, it says the last step is do you want to save the report into some folder? If you want to save, you just select this option. If I click on that, it will say where do you want to save? It will save in this project HSBC. What is the artifact type? I'll say as I want as a business, uh, let's say as use case diagram. Sorry, I want as a use case specification kind of and I can click on next. Last step it says click on finish to generate a report, click on finish and the process has started. You see that's a percentage completion is zero. So it keeps on creating a report with the name, the author name, the title, the image, everything will come here. So once it is done, yeah, report generation complete, open the report when the wizard is closed. So I'll click on this close and now the report will be generated. Make sure the report which you have said that will be created as an artifact 2605 name of the report is review report one and if you see the logo which i've put that's the image of the file i have put the name of the author as pavan lalwani okay that's a prepared by the project is hsbc and the date is given here okay these are the details which i'll get in the review report who is the author what they have done what things they have done release one the creator is this one so entire details about the review will be given here who has done what what changes have been accepted or rejected everything will be mentioned in this review report so it will make your work easy it's an automatic report generated i hope you have understood and that's all for this video